Hey guys, I'm back with another video and this time I want to talk about my experience taking the TEAS exam. So I took the TEAS exam a little over a month ago and um, I haven't really made a video about it yet so I decided to just try to make a quick one for you guys. Um, so the TEAS exam is of course for those who want to get into nursing school, um, you know, pre-nursing students and stuff and this is one of the entrance exams that you'll need to take in order to apply. Um, the first video I made was about the HESI exam, so uh, if you're looking for information about that exam, then definitely um, go to my channel and you will see the HESI A2 reviews. So this exam, the topics were reading, math, science, English, and language use. So you get four, um, four topics, you get less than an hour for each one, surprisingly, and um, yeah, it wasn't too bad. Um, I would definitely say that I struggled more with the HESI, especially with the math portion, um, mainly because I didn't really prepare myself well. But for this exam, I definitely did really good on the um, math section. So first, I will just tell you guys about the reading section. So the reading section was like, I think it was like 50 minutes or something. Um, it wasn't enough time for me at all. For the last few questions, I had to um, guess because I literally ran out of time. Um, so the passages are pretty short. They're pretty simple. You're just going to be like kind of paranoid if it's your first time, just like reading over it multiple times before you answer the question. But it's really not hard at all. Um, I would definitely say that the HESI reading section was much easier because you got like more time and um, the passages were way shorter. But this one is definitely doable. Just, um, I would say take your time, but definitely don't take your time because you don't really have much time. So definitely try to like read over it maybe two or three times. And you know, when you look at the questions, you know, just try to skim over the reading, you know, as best as you can so that you can answer it right. So that you don't end up having to rush in the end like I did. So I definitely could have done a lot better if um, I would have managed my time better, I would say. And next is the math section. I did really good in this section, surprisingly. And um, so in the description below, I'll put more details on what you need to study. Um, it was very simple. It um, had just like pretty much a lot of the same things. There were a couple word problems, but it was really easy for me um, compared to like the HESI one. Um, but after taking the math section for the T's, I definitely feel like I could like go back and do the HESI one and actually do really well too. Um, so that was really easy. The math is like, when you look at the T's manual, like the math in the book, like the practice books, is going to be harder than the ones on the actual test. So that's, you know, something to look forward to. Next is the science. Um, the science was pretty, pretty basic. Um, I would definitely say like, you're not going to get all the information that you need in the manual that's going to be on the test. Um, if you know, you know, biology and chemistry and um, anatomy and physiology, then you'll do really well on the science. You know, there's a lot of cell respiration and all that stuff on it. So it's a pretty short test. Like that section is pretty short, but you definitely have to read carefully. You're going to definitely need more than just reading the practice books in order to you know, freshen up on it or actually learn it if it's your first time. For me, I never took physiology yet. Um, I'm taking it in the fall, so that was definitely a little difficult for me because I haven't taken it. I've only taken anatomy. So, yeah. Last is the English and language use. This is pretty simple. Definitely practice this in the practice test because um, some things may seem like common sense, but you may, like, they're meant to trick you. So definitely practice that really well. Um, it's pretty easy to... Um, you know, like all it takes is just practicing it in the books and making sure that you score really well. One thing I can say about the practice booklets is what you get in the practice test, like because each book like should come with practice tests. So what you get on the like the scores you get on the practice exams, it's a really good indicator of what, how you're going to do on the real exam. So like if you're getting 60s on the practice test, then there's, it's really likely that you're going to get 60 on the actual exam. So Make sure that you read through the whole book, take your time. Like I would say, give yourself at least two weeks. Go through the book and practice and make sure that you're scoring high in the practice test because that definitely will determine how you do on the actual test. Um, so yeah, so the exam wasn't bad. Um, 
you find out your score at the end of the exam versus like in the HESI exam, you find out your score after each section. My best advice would be to definitely have more than one practice booklet. Um, definitely, you know, practice a lot. Even if you think you know it, just practice it. The book that I used was the Mo, Mo Metrics uh, T's Secrets Manual. And um, I would definitely advise you to get more than just one book and um, definitely go on YouTube. Like I did really well in the math because of like the videos that I watched on YouTube for the T's exam, mostly from Meometrics or Metrics. So that'll be a good thing to look into. I know that the actual T's exam book is really good. I forgot what it's called, but um, definitely do your research. Like you'll definitely need at least, you know, two or three books to really prepare, but give yourself a couple weeks beforehand and um, just take your time. It's not bad. It's, I definitely liked it compared to the HESI exam. So yeah, I know that you have like, most schools only give you two tries a year to pass it. So um, I definitely wouldn't just try to wing it the first time you take it. You know, make sure that you can get a high score the first time so that you don't have to take it a second time. You know, and if you do have to take it a second time, make sure that you have 30 days to wait because you have to take it 30 days at a time. You know, so make sure that you have a lot of time before you have to send in your application. So, yeah, if you guys have any questions, please comment below. I'm going to add um, more details in the description below about each section and what you need to study for. But it's not bad. It's not as hard as people made it seem. So you definitely have the opportunity to do really good. Um, one thing that really stood out to me and that was really, like, weird to me is that the national average is, like, a 48 like like nationally like most people do really low and that's why a lot of schools actually have they they have like low requirements like you know most schools of course like want a 70 at least but there's some schools that will like let you apply with like a 40 and stuff like that because of the national average you know people have such a hard time on it but make sure that you know if you want to look competitive to these schools definitely have a 70 or higher um because um they rate you by like advanced, proficient, and like below that and stuff like that. And I know that like like mid sixties to um, high seventies is proficient, and then like like a seventy eight or seventy nine and higher is advanced. So you definitely want to get into the advanced range if you want to get into a nursing school. So yeah, good luck to everyone. Um, it's not too bad. Just really take your time studying and practicing and you should definitely do really well on the exam. Um, yeah. So any other questions, just let me know in the comment section and please subscribe. Bye.